James Hinchcliffe. Uh, just got back from New Orleans. I saw the cool video of you guys on the float and everything, mm -hmm. throwing beads and stuff. How do you think IndyCar was received, and how is it going to be received? I, it was great. I mean, there was a lot of people that they knew why we were there. They were excited that we were there. They knew about the racetrack. They knew about the race coming. They wanted to come to the race. I mean, it was funny, man. You're you're on these floats, and everybody's dressed up like cartoon characters and children's stories and all the rest of it. And they were looking at us like we were dressed funny. It was it was bizarre, but no, it was it was a good experience. I think it's going to be a success. And you said like the track's only 20 25 minutes out from the city yeah it's not far at all you know and it's uh th there's not a whole lot right around the track but it's it's you know it's not far from downtown new orleans and obviously there's a whole lot going on there and and they know how to throw big events and how to throw big parties so it should be a lot of fun talking to james jakes your new teammate in graham ray hall they said it's a hell of a racetrack as far as speed goes it's fun to drive it's, it's a lot of fun to drive your neck doesn't love it i mean the thing is fast like really fast it blew our sims out of the water the grip on the track's incredible i don't know what what asphalt they use but it has got a ton of grip it's super easy on tires i mean you can do good laps deep into a stint which is great for testing and uh not so great for racing but good for testing. not the best for racing but but good for testing we'll see i mean once once we get there and, and the, i mean the track was just always getting better because you know no one's really run on it with these kind of cars so we'll see how it all kind of shakes out when we get there all right new horizon for you brother you went from andretti's super team with four cars to being the A, A team guy at, at, at Smith Peterson, and it's your first time in an IndyCar that the teams kind of build around you. Just talk about what kind of challenge it is, but also, I mean, I think that's I don't care if you're a race star, that's pretty cool for your ego too. No, it is, but but it's you know it's also a lot of added pressure and a lot of added attention and, and responsibility. So we've got to uh, we've got to make sure we keep pushing forward. You know, the, the one thing that. I saw from the outside, you know, the last three years is just really admired about that team is, is how much they were able to do in such a short period of time in the sport. And uh, that, that's an exciting, you know, prospect for a driver and now to be, you know, the, the guy kind of leading that charge and, and hoping to make them even a little bit better still. That's 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 a good thing. Your engineer, Alan McDonald, great history of racing, but really one of those guys that just seems like he's pretty even keeled all the time. They throw tantrums and go crazy and neither do you yeah. yet. <laughs> yeah, no, Alan lives right here, you know, happy be sad, mad, indifferent. He is here the whole time. And, and when he's the other guy, you know, that you're leaning on uh, and taking calls from, that's the kind of person that you want. And he's got so much experience, so much success. So it's it's been uh, it's been easy kind of, you know, we worked beside each other in 2012 and uh, it, it's been really an easy transition. So I'm, I'm lucky to have him for sure.